Well, your most famous quote, of course, is that untucked quote where you said, can you say it for me? Which one? At the I end of the lot. day. <laughs> At the end of the day. It doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> <laughs> and therefore, we have a special game plan for you called oh, shit. At the End of the Day. <laughs> At the end of the day, it doesn't fucking matter. Okay. Yes. Uh, <laughs> all right, so Heidi. We're going to give you some scenarios from All Stars 5. Oh, shit. And you're going to have to tell us whether it doesn't fucking matter or it does fucking matter. Oh, I got you. Let's okay? Because <laughs> we want to see how you'll react whenever you go back to All Stars. You think they'll have me back? I think it's a definite. Don't you, Lady Red? Child, if they want anybody to keep watching Drag Race, they won't have you <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here we go. Scenario number one. An enemy from your city who's been publicly dissing you is one of your competitors, i.e. Derek and India. Do you bring it up to them or does it not really fucking matter? See, what happened was, if she dissing me in public, it matters, honey. That's my public image. That fucking matters, okay? Hey, look, we gonna address this. Okay. And we gonna get it out in the first episode just like they did. So you can go home and I go further. <laughs> <laughs> your storyline is cut short. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, scenario number two. A competitor wants to form an alliance with you the first week of the competition. Do these secret alliances matter or will they send you home anyway? I.e. India and mayhem. Does it matter or it doesn't fucking matter? Did it matter? <laughs> <laughs> I think it. Uh, I think it depends on who it is. I, I'll say I think the first week is too soon. The first week is too soon to be making alliances, honey. No one is. We don't know how strong no one's gonna be by the end of the season, because um, you could you could end up like linking up with one of the weak girls, and you really have to carry her. And don't nobody wanna do that. Oh. But yeah, like um, I think it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because you just don't know how everything's gonna shake loose. Right. So it. Doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> Scenario number three. A competitor tells you they wanted to get a whiteout to send you home instead of one of the bottom girls, but they didn't. Does it matter? No, it don't matter, girl. Girl, they said no more whiteouts, so don't even try to play in my face like that. It doesn't matter, girl. You pick the lipstick that you're supposed to pick. That's all, period. <laughs> <laughs> right. Don't try to be no, you ain't no bender la creme. <laughs> <laughs> Eliminate uh, yourself, maybe, with that white out. Go ahead, go off. <laughs> <laughs> go off, sis. Go off, sis, yes. And last but not least, one of the strongest competitors is in the bottom. Do you send them home, or does playing fair matter? I.e., when Shay almost got sent home. I think it does matter. I think playing fair does matter, because no one wants to be that shitty cunt that sends someone home that's really well-received and stuff. No one wants to be that girl. Yeah. Um... The thing is, when I compete, I want to win because I was the best. I want to win because I came in and I slayed the competition and did the best. And I want to win against the best. And I feel like it doesn't fucking matter who... I, I feel like it, do, it does matter if you try to send a hoe home that doesn't deserve going home, because that just ends up just, uh, what's it? What's, what's the word? Look, look, I don't know why y'all got me up here talking. I can't speak. Um, <laughs> it can shine a negative light on who you are as a character and who you are as a person, and no one wants that. Yeah. Because at, at the end of the day, <laughs> your brand is your brand. <laughs> That's true. 